In Mwihoko area, a suburb on the outskirts of Nairobi, Nancy Irungu is back to doing her housework. Irungu says she could not perform such tasks just a few months ago after falling ill with rheumatoid arthritis and gout that made it hard for her to move. Her husband and mother were also affected by the disease. After months of treatment, Irungu, a mother of five who is also a priest, is happy she can now go back to her duties. I could all attend the church, I could, I could do the readings, I could even preach, but I could not do like all, all washing, went to the garden, nothing like that. The doctor who treated Irungu and her kin is Professor Omondi Oyo, a rheumatologist at the Kenyatta National Hospital and lecturer at the University of Nairobi. Oyo attributes rising cases of rheumatic diseases in Africa to lifestyle changes that are happening across the continent and the world. Generally, the whole world, people are less active. People, less and less people are doing exercise. There's more obesity. There's change in diet. People are eating more uh, animal proteins, uh, uh, preserve, fru juices preserved with fructose, and therefore there's an upsurge of uric acid worldwide. Rheumatic diseases have been prevalent in older people and generally rare in Africa. Experts say that trend is changing as the cases are not only increasing but also affecting young people, posing a health challenge. Gout is, uh, is associated with hypertension and also with high cholesterol and diabetes. So they tend to come together, especially in obese people. And, and the, the problem with this combination is that they can damage your kidney, can damage the blood vessels in the heart and predispose you to heart attack and can predispose you to, to, to stroke. Treating rheumatic diseases can be expensive. But Oyo says, in most cases, avoiding it is as easy as making two simple lifestyle changes. People should be more physically active and, and that will help in reducing the, the, the prevalence of hypertension, the prevalence of gout uh, and, and the prevalence of diabetes. Those are, you know, are things which work together and also help to reduce cholesterol in the blood. And number two is diet. People should pay more attention to diet. Kenyans are known for their love for roasted meat, popular as nyamachoma in Swahili. And as Christmas festivities approach, health experts say a little moderation can go a long way towards avoiding long-term healthcare challenges later. Juma, Majanga, VN News, Nairobi.